Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Logic to Live. In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up Eclipse IDE Photon release with STS plugin. And once we are set up with that, we will try and build a sample Spring Boot project using Spring Startup Project Wizard. And also, we will try and run the project with an Eclipse. In order for us to download and install Eclipse, we will first need to install Eclipse Installer. We will navigate into our browser to wiki.eclipse.org slash eclipse installer and since I'm using a Windows laptop which is a 64-bit operating system I will click and download Windows 64-bit version of Eclipse installer. Once the download is complete we will run the Eclipse installer for Windows and as you can see it displays a variety of packages available to be installed. For our purpose, we will install Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Once we click on the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, we get this wizard in which we get to select the product version we want to install, which is Photon. It automatically picks up the, the Java version I'm running, which is 1.8, and a, a path for the installation of this IDE. I'm just going to click Install. Once the installation is complete, you will see this screen and using the launch button, we can now actually run the Eclipse. Now we have to select a default workspace. I'm going to name it Photon and we're going to launch. On launch, we are presented with this welcome screen. I'm going to cancel it for now. And here we have installed our plain Photon release of Eclipse IDE. Now let's move ahead and install the STS plugin for this Eclipse. For that, we will move to Help menu, go to Eclipse Marketplace. Once the Eclipse Marketplace is launched, we are going to search for STS, which stands for Spring to Suite. Next, we will install this plugin. The installation takes a little time. So once the installation is complete, I'll see you there. Once the installation is complete, you will see this welcome screen from Spring. Our next step is to create a sample Spring Boot project using Spring Boot Starter Wizard. We will go to the File menu, go to New, Other. And if you scroll down, you will see Spring Boot menu option. From this, we will select Spring Starter Project and click Next. Now we have to provide a name for the project. To keep it simple, we will continue with the default option of demo. We'll click next. Here you can select what all capabilities or modules you want to include in your Spring Boot project. For now, we will keep it to simple and choose web module from Spring. Once the project is created, you will, the, you will see the project in the project explorer. Let's see what all we get from the wizard. We have the main folder where you have your Spring Boot Starter main class. We have the resources folder where you have your application properties. You have all the dependencies pulled in by the Spring Boot when we selected the web module. And you have the pom.xml. Now let's try and start this application. For that, you can just right click on the demo project and run as a Spring Boot app and as you can see the Spring Boot project starts with an Eclipse at port 8080 which is the default configuration from Spring Boot applications. With this we conclude this video demo. Thank you for watching. 